What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, we are gonna take a look at a couple of important updates that we have got for Samsung's applications. And we'll also check out a couple of interesting features which we have received on the Google's Gemini application as well as Google Translate feature. Uh, we have got some enhancements for the Google Translate feature. We are gonna take a look at that as well in today's video. So without wasting any time, let's dive right into it. First, let's take a look at this interesting feature which is related to the Google Translate. Now let me show you how this works, let me tap on a specific article here. Now here, if you want to translate this page from this language to another language, then all we do is just press and hold on this bottom bar here and Google circle to search feature gets activated and we have got this translate button right here. We tap on that to translate this. As you can see, I have selected English to Hindi and you can see the translation right here. Now you can instantly notice the change right here. Uh, we have got this uh, translation options, let's say language options right on top. Earlier it used to be here at the bottom. And here at the bottom you can see we have got scroll and translate. Now this is a very useful feature because we can now scroll these pages and translate it in another language. Now let me show you this. Let's go ahead and tap on scroll and translate. Now you can see this area is being translated now. Let's say now I scroll upwards, I go to the next uh, paragraph here. Now this will automatically get translated. Now I can keep scrolling this and read it in whichever language I want. As you can see, it works flawlessly. Now this is a brand new feature now Google has released for Google Translate on Google Circle to Search feature. Now this is gonna be very useful for a lot of people out there who want to translate it from one language to another language. Let's say you're going through an article, you don't really have to scroll down and again tap on this bottom bar to activate uh, Google Circle to Search feature and translate it. You can now use the scroll translate feature to continuously translate the uh, pages right there on your screen. So that's a very interesting feature which Google has added now. Now let's move on to the Samsung's application updates. Let's press and hold on the Galaxy Store. Let me tap on app updates here. You can see we have got a few updates here. Samsung Checkout, which does not uh, include any change log here. Let me just go ahead and update this. Then we have got this Knox Matrix update, which is a very important update. Even though it doesn't talk about anything here in the change log, it's a very critical update that we need to make sure we update this application on the phone. Now Knox Matrix provides a secure cross-device platform for securely connecting and using your devices that are logged into Samsung account. So basically it's more of a security feature which we need to update. And you can see the update date was 15 September, a few days ago it was released and the size is just about 24.52 MB. Now the latest version is 2.0.16.3400. You can go ahead and update this and then we have got another update here for Enhance X application. Now Galaxy Enhance X is a very powerful tool, a very powerful application available on Samsung Galaxy phones. And this is the application which enables us to edit the images and videos. Especially the image editing is a breeze on this application because this is based on AI. The AI will give us a lot of suggestions for editing the images and videos. And with just one click, we'll be able to edit the images and make it look better. So that is the uh, Galaxy Enhance application for this we have got a brand new update let me tap on this now you can see uh, description uh, not the description sorry we can see the uh, change log here uh, in what's new section we got new instant slow-mo feature now this new instant slow-mo feature may be already available on your Galaxy S24 series, S23 series. Uh, if you have already got the update for Galaxy Enhance X, I don't really remember when was this feature made available, but I can see this on the One UI 8 on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, S25 Ultra today. Uh, so I thought I'll just inform you guys about this. Now let me go ahead and update this. And let's open the application and I'll show you how exactly this works. It's updated. Now let me open the application. And here, let me select a specific video. Now let me take this one here. Now when I press and hold on the screen, you can see it immediately goes into slow motion mode and I can just lift my finger here to see uh, the video in the normal motion. Now I will be able to download this specific stretch of slow motion video as well. You can see we have got this download button here. I can tap on this and this will uh, clip this particular stretch of video and it will give us in slow motion. That's how we do it. And this is also available now inside the Enhance X application, which may be useful for some of you guys out there. Now the next update is for the camera assistant application. Now this does not bring in any new changes as such, but it does tell us on which devices camera assistant application is supported. As you can see in the change log, it says supported model for One UI 8.0 or higher, Flip 7, Fold 7, One UI 7 or higher, 
higher, S25 series, A56, M56, and F56. So this means Camera Assistant is supported on A56, A series devices, M series devices, and F series devices, especially the latest ones. And then we've got 6.1 or higher, S24 FE, S21 FE, A55, M53, Quantum 5, Fold 6, Flip 6. One UI 6.0 or higher, we've got starting from S24 series, A73, A72, A54, A53, A52S, A52 5G, A52, M54, F54, Quantum 2. And One UI 5.1 or higher, starting from S23 series, we have got S22 series, S21 series, Note 20, Fold 5, Flip 5, Fold uh, 3, Flip 3, and Fold 2. So all these devices are supporting this particular application. Just in case if you want to know which devices are supported, then this change log is going to tell you uh, where the camera assistant is supported. Now, these are a couple of updates that we have got for the Samsung applications. Now, last but not the least, we have got a brand new feature on the Gemini application as well. Uh, this feature arrived a few days ago on uh, in some of the regions, but uh, I am seeing this feature now on my Galaxy phone. So let me go ahead and demonstrate this, how exactly this works. Now let's open Gemini application here. Now uh, let's go to the live option. Now here we will be able to tap on this button here to go to the video mode and we can uh, point this phone on any of the objects and uh, ask Gemini anything about it. Now let's do this. Let me just adjust the camera here. Now let me ask Gemini which is a better watch among these three. Let's go to video mode. Uh, which is the best watch among these three? There we go. It is pointing out at a specific watch here. Earlier we could hear Gemini saying which is a better watch and if you had enabled the caption it will show up right here. You will be able to hear the results but now it will point out at a specific product that it is talking about. Now it just pointed out at Galaxy Watch uh, Ultra and said it's a better watch. Let's do this again. Which is a better watch among these three? Okay, now it's showing, it's pointing out at this watch here. But what I'm trying to tell you is, now you will see Gemini pointing out at a specific object that it is talking about. So that's a pretty useful feature which now uh, Google has added on Gemini. Now these are some of the updates which I wanted to keep you guys posted about. Uh, that's about it. And if you haven't downloaded our wallpaper application, Wallverse, go ahead and download it. We are still running the promotions. The one month free subscription promo code is still available. You guys, let me know if you're interested. You can drop a comment for this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and you can DM me on X or you can email me. The email ID is there in my bio on the on uh, YouTube uh, channel. You can go ahead and email me or uh, DM me on X. I will be able to share the codes with you guys. It's a one month free subscription code. You'll be able to enjoy all the wallpapers, all the categories without any ads. So do ask for the code, enjoy the application and don't forget to uh, rate the application on Play Store. That's about it. Hope you have already subscribed to the channel. Hit that like button if you find this video informative. Thanks all for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.